and rig out of. Uh, so uh, we've drilled a hole in it, and it's just under a uh, uh, a half inch. And this is a uh, 498 reamer. We're going to try. I don't know how it'll work. We're going to try this, uh, reaming this at 498 and uh, putting the uh, drill rod in the freezer and uh, uh, heating these up with the uh, a little torch. But that's what our plans are. Right now we're fixing to ream it uh, to 498. We've already drilled it out to uh, a 32nd under uh, a half inch. Just put a little oil on that thing. make two different ones. Let me cut this off where you can hear me. We're going to make two different ones. Uh, we got one short one and one long one. We may try uh, threading uh, the longer one after we get it made. Uh, that's what we're uh, thinking, but uh, we don't know if it'll work that way or not. So we're going to put it in and we're going to ream it to We've already drilled this one also. We just went in and got some lunch and uh, let them cool off after we drilled them. That's done. Uh, we'll bring you back uh, when we get them pressed on the arbors and we'll let you know if it works. Okay, we got it set up and we're gonna be turning this. I'm gonna use my uh, DeWalt drill, this lightweight compact we got the other day. Uh, I've got a, I'll show you a little apparatus after we get through machining this one right here. Uh, the uh, Press in that we done on these worked out fine. We reamed this hole to uh, 498 thousandths. We like uh, two thousandths press fits what we had. And uh, I heated this up in boiling water and I had this in the freezer overnight. Uh, I got two of them and I done them both the same way. And uh, pressed uh, these in. It's just a light press, but you can't can't budge them now uh, because this is uh, warm uh, cool back down to room temperature and this warmed up to room temperature and they're in there good plus I put 680 Loctite on them so they're gonna be there uh, but what we're doing now we're cutting an angle on there and uh, we got centers in both ends uh, I didn't know if we needed them but uh, I put them in there anyway I'm using the center on one end now and uh, just got it set up and got the tool and turned to the right angle and everything. So we're going to start doing. <laughs>
cut this off where you can hear me better. Uh, the diameter of this is one inch. So when we get back here and clean this up, just barely touch off back here, this will be done. So that's what we're doing now. We're uh, working our way back. <laughs> Okay, I promised y'all a look at this apparatus I got here. This is it. I just drilled, got me a piece of aluminum the same size as this. Uh, well, actually, it wasn't the same size as that. This was a, a, a piece I had left over, and I put a hole in it, and then I turned it on the, uh, uh, it was already this width. And I put a hole in it, and I uh, had a stud, and put it on the lathe and turned this diameter to the diameter of this. And then I opened this hole on up and pressed, cut a socket off, and pressed the uh, quarter inch uh, square in there. And what I did, these, 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 uh, Handles, let me focus that in. They're smaller, they're tapered down here at the end. So I drilled that hole and uh, to the size of the small end, it, it just flops on there. It's real loose. And it grabs these handles, what it does. See with them holes drilled in there? It When you turn it here, it... Uh, See that quarter inch socket fits right, I mean the uh, uh, driver fits right in there. That's a Harbor Freight Special there. You get three of them I think for three ninety nine, dollars a, a quarter, three eighths, and uh, a half inch for your uh, impact driver. And you just push, to, push that in there and then it'll turn it for you. Saves you a lot of arm wear and tear. So uh, this is done. I'm going to polish it up a little bit, and then we'll do the other one. And, uh, well, we'll uh, I may come back and, uh, before I do the other one and let y'all see how this one fits. <laughs> 